Today I'm painting Haster's Disciples from Cthulhu Death May Die. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a good day. Since I'm going to be painting this all with contrast paints, I decided to use Citadel's Colors Gray Seer Primer, which is made for a base for contrast colors. And we start off with some dark oat flesh, and this is for the little bit of skin they have on their face, as well as on their hands. Now this is going to be a sort of speed painting, because I'm doing all four miniatures in this video of Haster's Disciples. Um, I want to uh, use the same colors on all of them, I didn't want to change it up a bit, because they are disciples and they are looking all alike. And also, I. Uh, I'm going to use a yellow that's similar to Haster himself, which is an elder one. And this is the disciples that come with him in the game. Um, very fun miniatures to paint, very simple. Uh, I did make, <laughs> you'll, you might notice that I made quite a few mistakes on some of the colors at some point. Thankfully, it was the yellow, and I was able to go over it with the darker brown later on. Uh, and then sometimes I did the shoes wrong. And anyway, you're going to see them. I don't know if you want to keep track of them and write in the comments how many mistakes I made, go right ahead. Alright, now we're going to be using some wild wood and this is just on the drum of the Tommy gun as well as the little part of the handle near the front of the gun as well. So I'm going to do this again on all four minis. Uh, you can see it's very simple, this one not hard at all. And Wildwood gives that little, uh, gets into the little cran nooks and crannies of the gun and gives it that nice little final touch part. Well, even though it's not the final of the gun, but I just find that that brown is really nice for this section. All right, now we're gonna move on to the robes of these miniatures. So now I'm gonna be using some Nasdrag yellow, and it was a little bit more brownish, darkish than I wanted. Uh, what I should have done actually is a dry brush of maybe some demonic yellow from the Army Painter on top of it after, which was the base color for Haster that I used in the other video. And, um, but it's okay, it still comes out okay, and this is where I make a lot of the mistakes. You'll see I go over the pants by accident sometimes, or I, uh, yeah, it's it becomes a mess at some point, but I, I clean it up. Thankfully, when you have, see, there you go, I painted the pants. Uh, when you have darker contrast colors, you can go over the lighter ones, thankfully. So if you're working with contrast paints, make sure you do that and you work from the bottom out. Uh, so that if you make any mistakes you can cover them up, especially if you have a dark contrast because if you have a light one It's not going to cover up really well and you might have to just touch up maybe with some sort of uh, Just a paint that can go over uh, that that looks like a bit like the gray seer I want to thank everybody who's been following me so far on the channel. We're closely getting closer, sorry, I should say, to the 100 subscribers. Uh, if you're new to the channel and this is your first time visiting, please hit that subscribe button. It means a lot to me. And I love making these videos. I love painting miniatures. It's a hobby of mine. And uh, I would like to continue making these for you guys.
Alright, so here I come fixing up some of those mistakes I made with the Saigor Brown. So this is where I do some of the sleeves uh, and the pants on these miniatures. So like I said, this is a darker brown and it's able to cover up the yellow where I made mistakes. Now, I didn't want to do the boots or the shoes I should say, and I did the shoes with this brown. I was supposed to do it with the black and I was like, well, here we go. And the worst part is I go into the second mini and do the same mistake again. But the third and fourth, I leave the shoes white so that I can get them later on. Sorry, gracier so I can get them later on with the black Templar. All right, now I'm gonna use some skeleton horde just on this little jewelry that he has in front of him. Could have been a different color maybe because this doesn't show much, but once it dries, you see a little bit more uh, light than the robes. And then I'm gonna move on to the black Templar, which I'm gonna use for the rest of the Tommy gun. Uh, her hair as well. I think I'm assuming they're girls. I, I pretty I think so. Anyways, who knows? Uh, the hair on this miniature, and as well as uh, two miniature shoes. <laughs> Okay, I know I was using only contrast paints, but I need to use Stone Golem because I have no paints really from Citadel. I have just contrast technical paints, some dry paints. So this is to redo the mask since I did mess up a bit with the black and a bit of the skin color. Uh, so this is just to come back on the mask and just make it pop a little bit more. Uh, no wash is going to be applied to it. Uh, just going to leave it nice and gray, just like that. The Stone Golem gives a nice color to this mask. It's perfect. So there you go. Haster's Disciples are all painted and ready to fight... Uh, the people and the uh, investigators in Cthulhu, Death May Die. I want to thank you all for watching. Have a good day, and we'll see you all in the next one.